Slinger, and we are back in the K5 Championship for the Street Stock, the continuation of the Street Stock series. We had an off week, and then uh, after that off week, we were coming back to race Thursday, and iRacing was completely down from a DDoS attack, so that is why we had no race last week. But finally we're back, we're here at Slinger, and this could be the first race where we do not make it to the feature. I am not, not feeling good. It is insanely tight, and I am not looking very fast either. It's insanely tight on exit, I should say. On entry, it is trying to wreck me. Wow, and we just do a 287, two tenths faster than my fastest lap. That was unexpected. That's a good start. But the racing's going to be tough. We're even going to beat it a little bit. Race is going to be tough, but that is a good start there. I'm happy with that. P4 at the moment. Dale up there with a uh, point .3. And we're dropping as they all do point .1s and stuff. I have no clue how they're getting a point .1. I don't know how I just did a point .2. I was really, really struggling in practice. Most of the time I was running in the point .6s, but I finally was able to get into the point .4s. And we somehow managed to do one do a point two there which I'm pretty happy with but two weeks off had plenty of time to uh, replace the entire right side of the car after the big wreck uh, at Nashville mini where we caught the end of the 90 degree pit wall trying to miss a big wreck on entry completely ripped the right side of the car apart completely destroyed the suspension and the body so all that's replaced. See all the replacement sheet metal there. And we had to put new stickers on the side, of course. Sitting, what is that, 7th at the moment? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7th. Nick, where's he run? He has put in a 16-2. So, it must be his first lap, or... No, he must have had a mistake. That's unfortunate. So he is going to be starting off towards the rear. But if we don't get a start on the inside, we are going to be in a world of hurt. I don't even know if that's going to save us. It is going to be so tight. I don't know what's going to happen here. And apparently we're in heat number one starting third. So we do get to start on the inside and we don't have to cut the video. So that is good. John just barely getting in in time. He should have plenty of time to do a heat. And all that. As... Usual though, top three transfer in. We got 10 laps. I'm running the set that Justin shared on the Discord and Brett shared once we got into the server. So I think a lot of people are running that. All right, man. Line up on the inside row. Hopefully we'll do okay. The starts, we're starting off on the back stretch right after the pace car pulls off, I think. And, um, but there's no passing until we get past and start finish line. And also, no three wide, like no pushing it three wide intentionally at any point. I think that is an actual rule that this track has, so we're following that as well. So that should make things interesting. Hopefully that will uh, save some wrecks, but Bryce with a really, really fast lap looking to compete with Nick Robinson this week. He's starting on pole for this one. We are starting P3. Hopefully we get past Chris, but we know Chris is going to be fast. And it's going to be a tough battle, so hopefully uh, we can uh, have a good, clean Come race on, between us here. Time, hopefully ready. we'll do all right. Not feeling very comfortable with this track or the Come setup, on, but we'll do the best we can. I think he can go anytime. I'm not going until the leader goes, of course. Ten to go. Ten to go, all right. Outside. Let's be nice and easy with it. Oh man. Stay low. It's gonna be tough. Hopefully he gets tight out of four, but he's looking quicker than us. I don't know if we're gonna be able to hang on here. Stay low. I need to get on throttle quicker, but we're just gonna shove so bad out of the corner I don't want to get into him. We clear him there. That is lucky. Now we gotta try and hang on here. Turn four here, the banking falls away, so it's much tighter. We're looking okay now. 
key is really get it on throttle as quick as you can without getting tight. Oh, and there's contact ahead. Rice gets moved out of the way for the lead. Up into the wall out of four. That gives us a chance to close in a little bit, but I don't think we have anything for either of these two. We're hanging on to P3 at the moment. Five laps to go. Laps are ticking off very fast. I will be extremely happy if we're able to get into the feature immediately. That will be extremely lucky. Oh man, we're overdriving it bad. Keep doing that. Chris is going to get another shot at us. Bryce looking to get back to the front. We're all in transfer spot. No reason to wreck each other. It gets into Nick a little bit. But he backs off. Should be getting two to go. Chris just behind us. They're still making contact. Coming to the white. Keep it clean. Keep it clean. Okay. Still good. Just need to hang on. Whew, okay, and we're going to transfer in. What a great race for the front there. They survive it. I think Nick got the win barely. And we transfer in. Oh, man, that is a huge, huge relief for us. I was not at all thinking I was going to be in very good shape after what practice was feeling like. But my goodness, I am happy with that. 98-99, we were just plowing. I tried running Nick's setup from uh, Nashville Mini and just like trying to loosen it up for the higher banking, but I could not get that to feel any any better. So I just ran what uh, Justin shared, and that seemed to feel okay. As you can see, uh, actually, I don't know if he wants us to show it. I'm not positive on that, but we're running really high fuel just to make it a little bit looser. It's like 138 laps you can do on our tank that we're starting off with. Tried lowering it, and it just made it way too tight. But we transfer right in once again. Got extremely lucky there. So that is, we're in the points. Nothing to worry about with that. We just need to try and survive it, and hopefully we'll have a better result than we did at Nashville. But should still be a really, really fun race. This is an awesome track. Just really tough, challenging track, but it's a lot of fun. So we will cut, get back when we're at the warm-up. We can skip all these uh, heat and consolation races, but I'm going to watch them. It should be a lot of fun to, s to watch and uh, should have some good battles. So I'll catch you here in just a second. All right, all the races are over. We are going to be starting P7 for the feature right where we qualified. So that is nice. Let's go see what the track feels like now. It looks like we got some different weather going on. What in the forecast is this? Some really heavy clouds and fog, it looks like. What's the ambient air temp? Did my slow ass actually make it into the main? We got uh, just 70. You and me both. Got a slow car up ahead. Which that is pretty low. Go low. I think I just tried to shift to fifth. I'm trying all kinds of different things here. All right. Just Having a cooler track temp is probably just going to make this even tighter. Well, it's feeling pretty good, actually. Yeah, I'm feeling like I can really attack it right now, and I'm not getting sideways like I was. And it's not plowing on exit. Well, there's a little sideways. What do we even run there? I don't know. There's a 2-9. This feels like it could be quicker. 2-1. That's not too bad. We got fourth place in practice right now. I don't think this can be any quicker. 2-3-9. We're running point twos there. That's feeling pretty good. All right. Be interesting to see how this is going to play out. We got uh, the inside start again, which is nice. Hopefully, we can just maintain track position. The no three wide rule should keep it from getting too messy, I would expect. 
and the outside being able to hang on pretty well should keep people from trying to dive to the bottom instantly to not lose track position like we had at uh, Nashville Mini. So we'll see how that plays out. We got 50 laps this time, but you saw in the heat, if you get this going and you don't have any cautions, the laps just fly by. So 10 more laps than we've been doing, All right, man. which is fine. We're putting plenty of fuel to finish the race. We got Shane in here with us. I think this is his first time racing the series with us. And he makes the feature, so good job to him. We got Riley starting just ahead of us, and on pole is Nick Robinson. After winning Heat 1, Bryce starting fourth. So. Nick Robinson trying to win his fifth in a row in the fifth race of the season. I believe it's the fifth race of the season. But uh, he's going to have some pressure this time, I think. We'll see how it plays out. We're going to be just at 70 degrees, pretty much, the whole time here. So we should have plenty of grip. Felt really good in the warm-up. And uh, I think it'll be fun. Good luck to Bryce. Let's we'll give a good luck to everybody. Hopefully we can maintain, just try and not push up into Shane or anybody else on our outside and uh, try and not lose it on entry. I think we'll be okay. Because this thing, if you're attacking the corner hard, and we saw that a little bit in war the warm-up, but not as bad as it was in the heat and practice. Right, man, but if you're attacking it, you can really get, get sideways on entry. But the biggest thing I'm worried about is the right, massive push Wait, out of the man. corner. But coming to the green here... Let's keep it clean for 50 laps. Green, green, green. Starting in third should be okay. And the corner right after we get going gets us spread out. Try and keep it stable. We clear Shane. Clip the yellow line there a little bit. They're racing side by side hard up ahead. We got nowhere to go at the moment. Just try and not leave the bottom open on entry. Let Chris get his nose in there, but we might want to go to the outside on Dalton. Sorry. We got a little space to work with now. He gets to the inside on Bryce. Bryce falling off, or falling backwards a little bit. He clips the apron and gets into the side of Bryce and spins him right in front of us, but we get lucky and are able to slow down in time. That was scary, but we'll skip ahead and get ready for the green. All right, we're getting ready to get the one to green. I'm bringing you back now because the pace car pulls off pretty soon after we cross the line here. I think we're starting on the outside now in sixth. Right, man, yeah, we're one to green. Right, Whoever was asking about it. So we'll be going green pretty quick here. Hopefully we can get to the inside, but if we can't, that's just the way it goes. I'm not going to force anything, but just need to focus and not slam the wall on exit here and try and give Bryce room all right we got clear of them I think we can slot in here we can oh sorry little bump car stopped up high and somebody was parked up there and we get the caution again so Oh, he, Chad got a black flag for some reason, and he no, has no idea. That's That stinks. But uh, we'll come back for the next restart. All right, we're getting ready to get back to the one to green. Unfortunately, it looks like Chad's out of the race now. He's, for some reason, got a, a black flag for leaving the pits, and he had to pit because he got a meatball from the first wreck. So then he tried to pit, and uh, I think he hit the wall and the car broke. That's unfortunate for him. We're getting ready to go back green. Caution laps don't count, so we're still on lap six. We do not get a very good launch there. That gets Chris to our inside. We're going to lose this spot most likely, but honestly, that should be fine, because then if we get another caution, we'll get the inside start. We can slot in behind him here. They're stuck too wide back there, so we're okay. Why do you not lift? You see me fucking spinning. 
Something's going on. We'll just slot in here. We're making contact pretty hard up ahead, almost three wide. Which isn't allowed, as a reminder. That's the real life rule, I think. Corners are just too sharp, too high speed for it, and the track's too narrow, I think. That pack behind us is racing really hard. We're pretty much single file here now, ahead of us. Somebody's up in the wall. R Jacob. He gets it back going. Chris clipped the apron there a bit. They are really riding each other's door in this group ahead. And slowing this pack down a bit. Nick moving forward behind us. He's trying to pass Shane. And Bryce is getting spun. He got loose behind us. It gives us another gap. We get a free spot there. But if we get a caution, that puts us back on the outside. Let's try and get into a rhythm here. Thought we'd be close to halfway, but not quite since caution laps don't count. Bryce is going to be able to get back up here and pass us by the looks of it. I don't think I'm going to be able to hold him off. More contact ahead. Somebody into the wall hard. Oh, Chris got the wall. Had to run the outside there. I'm almost headed for the wall. Can't quite get a good enough run unless he makes a mistake, and he's only made one, and we weren't close enough. And more contact there with the lap car. There's another caution. And we'll cut to the next caution. All right, we just took the two to green. I think we gained two free spots there. For some reason, someone had to go to the back that was in front of us. We might be in fourth now. Bryce is probably going to get back around us, which is fine. He's quicker than us anyway. But Nick is right behind him, so our main objective, try and stay ahead of Nick. Oh, we're starting on the inside. Okay, perfect. So we are in fifth. So that is excellent. Hopefully, we can hold on to this. Hopefully, we can keep it green now. They're making contact before the leader goes. That was a messy start. The pace car is still on the track. Okay. <laughs> Did you see that? Pace truck was in the middle of the backstretch there. That was very confusing. And another caution there. And the pace car, I don't think ever left the track, but we'll cut again until we get back to the green. All right, Nick sped up the caution this time. Hopefully the pace car gets off the track. <laughs> that was very confusing. Hopefully that doesn't happen anymore. Well, let's try and get a better start this time. Let's see if pace car actually gets off. Yep, he does. See when Nick goes. He's going now. I think the reason he didn't go before is because the pace car is still in front of him. I wasn't even paying attention to that, but that must have been the case. I cannot get it to turn. When the car, there's a car on my outside. We get clear of him. Now we're into fourth. But that may not be a good thing. If we do another restart, Nick's going to get to the inside on us. He might just flat pass us anyway. He's looking pretty quick now. We're making contact ahead. And that guy just spun that guy. Oh, my gosh. Big contact. I was trying to prepare myself to miss that and got massive sideways, and then they wrecked anyway. Messy one here, but... Uh, 
we'll get back when we're taking the green again. All right, we got the two to green again. Looks like we're going to be in third this time, so we get back to the inside. Hopefully we can uh, get going here. There's been some massive, aggressive driving going on. And I think people just need to calm it down a little bit. All right, man, we're going green next time. Bye. All right, man, line up on the inside row. Hopefully get Nick ready. goes early again and we can uh, get spread out a bit. No state. Chris with no front bumper, but I think he should be okay as long as he doesn't blow up. Pace truck's still staying on the track, so that's got everything screwed up. I don't know. This track really, uh, really messed up, I think. I don't know what is going on with that. Sorry, that pace truck next to Tampa for <laughs> That kind of screwed me up. We're slotted into third. If we can keep this spot, I'd be very happy. Just got to halfway. I don't think we have anything for either of these guys. But never know, could get to lap traffic, something could happen. We need to try and keep it in a position where we'll be able to miss something and take advantage if we can. But speed-wise, I don't think we can compete. But Nick did just get a massive push out of four there. He's getting pretty tight, but he's still able to get a better exit than I can. I'm getting really tight on entry now. Looking behind us, Nick and Chris are still side by side, and Bryce is just behind them. So that is saving us right now. If this goes green from here, we are going to be in really good shape. Sorry, 04. We should be getting to lap traffic at some point as well. Shouldn't take that many laps here. Can't see anybody yet, though. Man, I'm getting so dang tight through the center. I'm glad they're still side-by-side -side back there because I do not think I would be able to hold anybody off with how hard this is getting to turn. And there's the wall. We got damage on the front end. It's fine, and we get a yellow. Gosh dang it. We will be back for the next restart. Just got to two to green again. We'll see if the pace truck actually gets off the track. I think the problem was Nick was like uh, These are so hard. deleting a couple pace laps, and that was causing the pace truck to decide not to uh, get off the track, which is not a problem at other tracks. They just, I guess, didn't right, test man, that when they released this track. Right, it looks like, yeah, we row. didn't extend it, or didn't uh, shorten it here, and he's getting off, right, so... Unfortunately, that wreck must have got Nick and uh, Bryce. They're both out now. They were racing just behind us. I don't know what happened. Chris is still going. <laughs> Couldn't see what was going on back there, though. We'll try and keep our third place here. Oh, man. We really checked up on entry that time. Jacob's gotten past Chris. He doesn't have a front end either, but looking quick still. Three wide? Okay, I thought that was illegal. It is. Oh man, that was terrible. I know I'm slow, but <laughs> it is what it is. Jacob's going to get around us, I think. He clawed his way back up. We're just so dang tight out of the corner. Need to wait longer on throttle or something. He's going to take it here. We'll just, we're just going to have to slide in, slot in behind him. We got nothing to hold him off. We're just way too tight. Fortunately, that's going to put us on the outside if we do another restart, but that's just the way it goes. I can't. I got no speed to hold them off. I can't even get to the yellow line through the corners. Just need to back up entry a bit. 
slow down earlier and hopefully get on throttle early, earlier. But I'm not doing a very good job of it. Man, this thing's tight. Plowing bad. Already within five to go, though. So, don't have to hang on too much longer. Got Sean on the inside up here. He's in ninth, though. So that's how many wrecks there have been. Just need to get around the track a few more times, try and hold off Chris. Gavin just behind him back there, and Dale as well, so they're both doing great. And uh, looking like I'm not much quicker than any of them, if at all. Oh, and Sean just plowed the wall. Just got to hang on. We're in P4. This is a fantastic finish. If we can hold on to it, we're coming to the white. Don't even need to get around Sean. Just need to get it out of four without wrecking. And we hang on for a top four. That is very, very lucky. I did not feel like I was quick. I felt like... A good portion of the field there was quicker than I was, especially at the end. But we hold on for a top four. Let's see what the tires are. Oh, that's going to be bad looking. And we keep the front end on the car as well, so that's lucky as well. 91-94. Felt way worse than that. Whew! That was fun, though. We had a good battle there. Unfortunate the people that got taken out. Uh, that I thought could beat us. Nick and Bryce, for sure. Jacob had some damage, but he was able to get back. I think he was involved in one of the earlier wrecks. So he gets up and passes us and gets third. So good job to him. Great run to Gavin and Dale, though. They beat Bryce. But I think Bryce was involved in that last wreck with uh, Nick. Nick ends up 14th, 16 laps down. Great racing with Chris there. I did not think I was quicker than him at the end. I just had the uh, track position at that point and uh, just needed to be solid and not make any big mistakes. Luckily, we able we are able to come out on top this time. But that was a messy one. Let's take a look at all the incidents. Nick Robinson 9083, so he was definitely on the looser side and we would have benefited greatly from being there as well at the end, but we were plowing massively. But up to that point, it was feeling pretty good. But we were pushing pretty hard there pretty much the whole time, and that is why we had no right front left. First up, we saw this happen. Little contact there, side contact. I think he ends up clipping the apron and bouncing up into him. He was racing extremely aggressive. And then uh, three wide here. This stupid camera thing, get out of my face. So Mark here, he's already on the inside of uh, Steven who was yelling the whole time. He's looking three wide middle, so that is why that was a wreck, and I think he blamed Mark for that, amazingly. Yeah, and we saw this. Dalton racing side by side with Bryce there. He, did, he The banking is so much higher. If you clip that apron, it just shoves you up the track. Bryce wasn't given a ton of room, but I think he gave plenty. But uh, once he clipped the apron there, that just sent him around. But, oh, man, huge head-on collision there for Chad. Looked like he was going to be able to make it, but with how tight these corners are, you just can't see the wreck at all until you're already in it. And that is why... Several people got damaged there, and uh, Chad, that's took him out of the race. Nick got some damage with that, but he was okay. What did I do? Like, oh, I got into the back of Bryce a little bit. I remember that. Little tap. Everyone's fine. 
And this is when Chad was trying to get to pit road. He gets loose on the outside there, and then he's stuck up there, and uh, he exits, but not before a caution comes out. And then 72 again. Just losing it on the outside. And then uh, slides down into traffic there. Nowhere for them to go. I think that causes a yellow. No, it actually doesn't. So that is not one of the yellows. We saw this as well. Jacob and Bryce. Bryce kind of entering higher there. Jacob putting his nose down there. And that is what sent uh, Bryce up the track. And gets us around him. And then Shane. Bryce getting loose in front of them. And then Shane uh, got up into the wall there. Dalton, or Dennis, in the 94 there. And Mark. Mark just overdrives it, gets into the side of him there. I think uh, both of them were apologizing for that, though. They were able to keep it going, so no harm. And this is when the 72 is a lap down, and Jacob's trying to clear him. But 72 doesn't lift to get in behind him. And then Mark, or, and then uh, Jacob comes up, and that's why... He gets sent to the back there, so he was in fourth, and we were back behind him when that happened. But he was able to get back up there, so that was a good run to get back there for Jacob. Then nothing, and then uh, this is when the pace truck hadn't left the track. And uh, people were trying to go, but everyone was confused because the pace truck is still in the middle of the track. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Look at this. It's and it just disappears. Terrible. I don't know what the heck's going on with that. And then a dive from Jacob. Shoving Mark out of the way. And then uh, me and Chris coming together a little bit there. He came down, but I was coming up. Just, just a racing deal with this track. And then what's going on up here is... What this problem was yeah, Riley was racing extremely aggressive pushing up into people there and then that sends Justin down to the infield and then gets back on the track doesn't actually make contact and keeps it low but netcode thinks he slams into him and that spun the 32 up in front of the field Chris got some damage with that a lot of people got some damage with that and the pace truck wasting no time to get back on track there. Yeah, and then this is just ridiculous. That was causing a ton of confusion. Dennis slides into the infield there. Let's see what happened here with Nick and Bryce. Oh, Bryce just gets loose underneath him. That's unfortunate. Gets loose underneath him, pushes up into the side of him, and then... Big contact with Nick there, I think. Yeah, people just trying to avoid him, and that's the point in the corner where you just cannot see the other side of it, so people had no idea. And, uh, big contact there. Nick trying to get to pit road, but his right front is broken. Then... Sean coming up into Shane a little bit there and that sends both of them around unfortunately there 72 again spinning out of turn 4 decides to end it there hard contact there from Sean at the end and then Nick celebrating his 5th win in a row I think so that was a messy one, but we survive it. We get a top four, and uh, I can be really happy with that. That'll help us in the points. Let's take a look at the points here real quick, if I can get them to pull up. Because we're not too far out of it, out of a good uh, position. Let's uh, see here. Can't even find the right thing. There we go. Okay. We 
Oh man, we've moved up to fifth. We're one point behind Chris, two points behind Jacob, and uh, a few points behind Justin and Nick has got a huge lead. So I'm happy with that. Average start of eighth, which is the highest until you get to Nick. But our average finish is fifth, so I'm happy with that. And we have 39 points just ahead of Ethan, Dalton, Allen, and then Nick, Sean in the top 10 there. So that is cool. Billy did not make it this time, I don't think. I didn't see him. But he still maintains 12th. And so far, you only get points for making the feature. So far, there have been... Uh, right here. 41 people that have made the feature. So 41 different drivers for, what, like an 18, 19 car field? That's pretty good. Had a lot of different people racing with us, so that's been fun. And, uh, yeah, I'm happy there. See if we can get a top five in this championship. We're knocking on the door for a podium finish. We'll see what we can do. But I will take a top four here at Slinger. Tough, tough track. And I think South Boston's coming up, which is going to be another tough one. But not quite as tough as this one, I don't think. But yeah, that was fun. Thanks for watching.